Hi guys, I'm Rodney Mack. You guys know me as Mr. Hair Art, owner of the Hair Art Network, the Shops and Salon Network, and the new Mobile Salon Network. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to sharpen your hair clippers to where they cut cleanly and neatly. We're also going to be adjusting the clippers. I'm going to show you all the new tools that you'll be able to do this right in your own home or in your own shop. Stay tuned. I'll be right to you. <music> Today we're going to be working on uh, some clippers. We're going to be sharpening and adjusting uh, different types of clippers. Here are uh, the clippers, main clippers we're going to be working on is this type here. This is uh, some, I believe these are Andy's clipper. And I got two type here to work on. And as you can see, one of these are is broken on the, uh, can you see that here? It's broken on the front and that's what's going to cause a lot of your problems is when that blade is broken here that can really cause damage to your customer so you you definitely want to look out for that but i'll show you what you can do about that in just a moment so here are the two types of clippers we're going to be working on all right the tools that we're going to need first off of course you're going to need your handy dandy screwdriver Okay, just a regular Phillips head screwdriver. This is the Phillips head, with the one with the grooves in it. This is what you're gonna need to take out the screws on your, on your clippers. Now, I, of course, don't like wasting a lot of time, so I'm gonna kick out my little drill here. This is just a little cordless drill. Works very well for working on smaller items, smaller things like uh, the clipper with the uh, surge protector on it. And this is going to help uh, your power output. Make sure you have a steady flow of uh, power and uh, no surging or anything like that because you don't want uh, your, your clippers to get uh, uh, extra jolt of power, especially when you're working on a, on a customer. Next thing we're gonna need is the tool for sharpening. Now what I like to use is the Dremel, and this is a cordless Dremel here. This Dremel here has the um, the, um, the buffer wheel on it. This is the, um, the metal wheel that spins when you turn it on. You can see it spin. And that's what I use to basically shine, buff, and even sharpen uh, various types of, of uh, clippers uh, when I when I'm actually adjusting or needing to get them extra sharp to do the extra um, tight and crispy designs, I'll use the, the Dremel to do that. I also have a big buffer wheel, uh, but we're not gonna need that on, a, on this job here. We also have the extra tools and equipment that comes with the Dremel, put that there. We have some extra little gadgets here that sometimes you use, depending on what you're gonna need. We got extra plastic uh, buffer wheels and um, cutting wheels. We have promising stones, stone wheels, that, uh, that when you use these, it actually grinds and uh, gets your the teeth on the clippers extra sharp. So we'll see what we need out of that in just a moment. And then we got our cleaning utensils, good old 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. This is a, almost the strongest alcohol that you can get that's safe to use on your equipment as well as, as on people. When you're using this on um, your customers or your client, I recommend you dilute this a little bit with a 70% isopropyl alcohol and maybe some um, some other astringents or oils to actually break down and, and not have it so harsh when you're using it on the skin. And then what we're gonna use as well is your Lysol. This is a disinfectant spray. This actually cleans the clippers and the blades. It also has a lubricant in it that uh, cools the blade. I like to use that when I'm actually using on the uh, on my customers. And then we have uh, liquid wrench. This is if your if your clippers are um, if they're rusted or if they're they're binding together or they're 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 grinding together too hard. You use this and it'll it'll actually lubricate them up to where they um they're able to um, move against each other quite easily. And then we have a bowl we're gonna actually put uh, the, the uh, alcohol in to cleanse the clippers and I'll show you guys how to do that. And then here's an easy way uh, to, if you don't have a, a polishing wheel or a grinding wheel, you can use something like this. These are actual uh, sanding pads and uh, finishing sheets. They're actual uh, sanding uh, the, 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 uh, the material or the, 
surface on it is it's not gritty to where it'll leave scars in your metal it's very smooth uh, but when you rub it across it it actually grinds the um, your blades down to where you can get a, uh, a clean and very smooth surface for the blades to ride on when they're cutting so these are very very handy and they're inexpensive they're, they're around you know five or ten bucks so you can use these instead of getting the um, the, the more expensive um, polishing or uh, sanding wheels or uh, blade sharpening wheels all right let's go to the next section The Hair Art Network is finally introducing the tools that are used to create those wild and awesome barber etchings and hair art designs. The new Hair Art Stencil Kit. Go to www.mrhairart.com to purchase your very own Hair Art Stencil Kit. Mr. Ronnie Mack, also known as Mr. Hair Art, has created this product just for you. Inside this kit, you'll find the tools you need to create your own fabulous works of hair art. From the clear, durable stencils to the color pencils and hair art spray, everything you'll need to make more money easier and faster, whether you're amateur or professional. To order this hair art stencil kit or any of our hair art products, call 1-800-406-7711 or you can order online at www.mrhairart.com. Order now and get in on the new, more profitable world of hair art. All right, everyone, here we are, and this is the uh, section, next section. This is what we have going on here. These clippers here, when you turn them on, you can see the little turn-on uh, portion here. When you turn them on, they're riding fine. Uh, this, the uh, bottom blade actually here rubs up against the top blade. The bottom blade is a moving blade. The top blade is a stationary blade. It does not move. The bottom blade is the actual cutting blade, and it goes back and forth against the top blade, and that's what does all of the cutting. What you want to do is make sure that these blades are, are adjusted uh, correctly and, and um, actually riding smooth against each other. Uh, and that's what's going to give you a clean, crisp cut uh, and not actually uh, scar or cut your, your clients. So right now I'm looking at these blades and I can see that they're not adjusted uh, properly. So we're going to go ahead and start by unscrewing these. And uh, instead of using those, I'm going to go ahead and get it done. Because I, I, you can see that these, there's a problem with these, they're not, they're not cutting as well as they could be cutting. So let's take them off and find out what's going on here. And all you're doing is taking out the top of the screws. And this top head just comes right off, okay? You can see there's a lot of hair down in there. We'll get rid of that in just a moment with our little brush. I didn't show you my brush, but we have a brush here as well, just a little uh, toothbrush uh, looking brush. But look at here, you can see this blade is very loose. You can see that there? This blade is very loose up underneath. Here's the top uh, screws that holds it onto the, the clippers, these screws here, okay? And then these inside screws here, they actually hold the bottom blade stationary, but you can see that blade is very loose. It should not be that loose, okay? So that's gonna be your first problem. So we're going to go ahead and take it off and examine the blade itself on the other end, on the other side, and we're going to make sure that that blade is is uh, nice and clean. You guys see my my mat here. I always uh, demonstrate on my cowhide. That's a product in the uh, Mr. Hair Art store. You guys can go to MrHairArt.com and see the cowhide that you can actually cut and do designs in and practice in. All right, we turn this over, and you can see that the blade, the cutting blade is it's sharp so it must be new this is these pair of clippers here belongs to they actually belong to mrs hair art so i can see that these they're very she must have just bought these so these are new they only need a little bit of polishing on the ends and uh, down the, the, the back side but i don't see any area that has any scarring or any rusting on here so we should be able to just clean, clean these, and they should cut. Uh, they, they should cut very well as long as they're cleaned and adjusted properly. So we're going to go ahead and take our Dremel, put on low. You got your low, and you got your high. We do not need high. <laughs> all right. So let's go with the low. And all you're going to do, as you can see, it has an arrow for the direction that it's turning. It's turning this way. So we're going to actually brush the same way just to clean out any burrs or any um, 
any stick up that may not be uh, visible. And again, it's going that way, so you want to actually brush in the same direction uh, that the, 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 uh, the blade is spinning. So if it's spinning that way, then that's the direction you want to actually turn because the, 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 the blade is going this way, so it's going to spin. And all you're doing is just going across the top of the blade very lightly, very lightly. And you're, you're literally doing a polishing of these blades. Let's see if you can see right here. And you can see as it's going across, it actually polishes as you go. Okay, and along the sides as well. Just taking off any corrosion or any rust that may be on here. We're gonna do the same thing with the bottom blade. Clean off the, the hair that's on there. And I can see a little bit of rust on here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean those, that rust off. And then I'm gonna come down. In between, in between the teeth, I'm going to come down and clean, and I'm actually going to sharpen a couple of these so I can see them being a little bit dull. And my hands are pretty, my hands are pretty, uh, pretty steady, so I can go right in between those teeth and sharpen them with this metal grinder. Get those two very sharp. Be careful because it does get hot. And you can see how you can see how that gets those teeth extremely. Come on here, camera, focus. You can see how that gets these teeth very, very sharp all the way across. Oh. I'm also going to break out my uh, my sanding. We're going to go with a 600 and just put a light little tap on them just to make sure that they, they're sharp. I'm going to just put a light little tap on the wheel on these uh, on these blades. So what you're going to do is take one of your, your sheets, lay it down on a flat surface preferably a surface that has a little give to it that way your your metal uh, actually absorbs into the sander and we're going to take your <coughs> we're going to take the uh, the blade and then we're going to literally go side to side a lot of people like to go up and down but if you go up and down you have to be very very careful not to tilt the blade because you can start to dull the blade out from the top so going side to side make sure that all of the blades are getting the same amount of treatment so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of lube I usually use WD-40 on this, but I don't have it right now, so we're going to use the uh, liquid wrench. Hit it with that, rub it in, and it gets very, very slick. Take our blade, put it down, and we're just going to go side to side. Just go side to side. Light, light, light pressure. And you can see the little grimes, the little metal shavings that come off, and that baby is slick, clean. Slick, slick, clean. A little bit more. And you're just basically pressing down slightly just to get any burrs or any uneven sides cleaned off. We're going to get our towel. Have a regular terry cloth towel or standard towel is fine. You can use paper towels as well, but I like to use the, the cloth towel because it gets it extra clean. And you're just gonna rub it and take that all off just to make sure that you can see everything you need to see. A very clean blade, sharp, very sharp. And it's ready to cut. All right, we'll set that here. You can also do the same thing with the bottom cutting blade. Just lay it down on there and just go side to side. Side to side, and it's going to clean off and sharpen that blade to 
where it's nice and even, able to rub up against. Wow, look at that. Super clean. A little bit more to clean this edge. We're gonna put a little bit more pressure on this side. Make sure that it's nice and even. There we go. You can see how that's nice and clean. Ready to cut. Cool. All right, let's reassemble. Get this party started. And then when you turn on the clippers, you can see they're very smooth. As long as they got a very smooth motion and they're, they're, they're running nice and quiet, nice even motion, you should be good to go. We're going to knock out this hair out of here. Because the hair does build up on the inside of here. And you have to be careful because you get too much hair build up, it will throw your clippers off. And that's something. Guys, just take a regular toothbrush and you'll be able to go right down in there and clear out any hair. Hold on. Let me lay down your surface. I like to work clean. All we're going to do is take that toothbrush, dig down in there, turn it on. Clear that inside out. Okay. Just that easy. And that, with that toothbrush, you can see that head is small like that. It can get dig down in there and clean out all of that hair that's in there. And you got your nice, clean, ready to cut hair clippers. We're gonna hit it with a little Lysol to disinfect it on the inside, take out any germs from other people's hair. Then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of oil, very lightly. Dry it out. Use a toothbrush, dry it out, spread it around. You're ready to go. We're gonna reassemble this top blade with the bottom blade and this time we're going to make sure that they're tight and they're even so we're going to take that that bottom a little dirt on there we're going to clean it off as well and that's going to be that all of that's going to be cleaned off with our alcohol run and right here you're just literally placing the screws on the inside that's it We're going to hand tighten and then we're going to adjust. Okay, can you guys see that? Make sure you guys can see. All right. You can see that it is able to adjust up and down slightly. So as you move it, what you're going to do is you're going to now. these clippers the uh, blades you're going to literally set them to where the gap is zero and what that means is the top the top blade is riding parallel with the bottom blade as you can see here that's a, probably about a one that's not going to cut very short that's going to cut where there's a light uh, a light amount of hair still there so what we're going to do is we're going to push it up. We're going to push the bottom blade up to where it's riding right along with the top blade. And we're going to tighten it down. just a hair more than it needs to be. That bottom blade is up higher than the top blade. 
That's what you don't want because that will mean the bottom blade is rubbing or running and it's going to cut your client. So now when you get it lined up, then you're going to tighten it down all the way. You can see you're able to push it. to keep the, the skin of your customer from getting cut. And then we're gonna them down. Hi guys, Ronnie Mack here. You guys know me as Mr. Hair Art. Reminding you, do not forget to get your hair show tickets to the Mobile Salon Expo. The website is www.mobilesalonexpo.com. The show's almost sold out, so you gotta get your tickets now. Again, that website is www.mobilesalonexpo.com. There's gonna be tons of buses there for you guys to check out, get on board, and uh, actually see how these things run and what you can, uh, how you can get in on the mobile salons. And for all you investors, we have the brand new mobile salon franchise that's also gonna be debuted at the show. So that's the mobilesalonexpo.com. Uh, you get all the information there as well as the tickets and uh, for all the investors and people who want to get into a mobile salon or into the mobile salon business Go to our website at www.mobilesalonnetwork.com And they'll have all the information for you to sign up all the pricing and, and everything is on that website So get on board now to see the new world of mobile salon. Remember our motto the barber and beauty industry is going mobile See you at the show In this section we're gonna go ahead and do our reassembly Remember in our last section, we adjusted the blade, got it set to a zero gap to where it is all the way on the mark, where you can literally see the, the blade itself is riding right there with the top blade. The bottom blade is riding right along with the top blade, and that's what you want. Just put the, put the uh, screws and screw in here, and just barely tighten it down. You're not tightening it down tight yet. Start. And grab your second screw. Put it in there. Now go ahead and get this one started. Now, with these particular clippers, we're going to hold the side to where both of them are parallel, and then you're going to go ahead and turn it all the way down. That Dirty pair of sharpened and adjusted clippers. We're gonna hit it. We're gonna clean them first and then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of oil and that'll be ready to roll. We're gonna test it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Yeah, they are very, very sharp. I mean, you, you're gonna be able to get a crispy, crispy edge on that. So you gotta be careful with your client because you're gonna get a very crispy edge with this. Now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to put our alcohol in a bowl just enough to come up to the top blade on your edges and literally you're going to set your blade down in the alcohol just like that take a look at that let's, see, let's zoom in on that you're going to see how that see that hair coming out of there it just brings that hair out of the clippers. Now you don't want to dunk them in there. You're just setting the blade down in there and that, that hair just generates towards the alcohol and it comes right out of your clippers. You run out and you see all that hair that came out of there that we couldn't see before. That alcohol ball right out. It's gonna dry. Clip it off. Uh -huh. Just shake and dry. Don't want to leave the alcohol on there, even though it's it's not going to rust up uh, like immediately. But you don't want to leave the alcohol on there 
for an extended period of time. You want to hit it with a little bit of Lysol. That's going to disinfect it. This is going to be uh, twice you hit it with Lysol. Then you're going to hit it with your WD-40 or your liquid wrench. So make sure it's running smoothly. And then you're going to hit it with the Lysol again to sanitize it. The Lysol will not rust. The alcohol and Lysol is different uh, chemical components, but the alcohol, uh, the Lysol will not rust. It actually uh, has agents in there that lubricates the metals, and I've been using it for over 20 years, and it is perfect. It runs perfectly. It, it sanitizes the clippers absolutely perfectly, and I've had no problems with customers breaking out or having an allergic reaction or anything to the Lysol. There's some uh, chemical uh, coolants or uh, blade cleaners that uh, my clients will break out from, so I, I discontinued using them. Uh, but the Lysol, I've had zero problem with, and it works every single time. But that, my friends, is a perfectly running, cleaned, sharpened, and adjusted for clippers. All right. All right, everyone, that's it. That's how you take your clippers and sharpen and adjust your clippers to where they cut very cleanly, very neatly. You can do this right in your own home or right at your own shop. All right, so stay tuned. We got a lot more videos coming for you. And remember our motto, respect yourself because image is everything.